Welcome to Salign TV's Unboxing FileMaker 14. I'm John Austin Lamprecht, and in this video, we're going to show off the new placeholder functionality featured in FileMaker 14. Right now, we're in the contacts layout that shows basic contact information for a contact record. In this area right here, we have a portal of associated addresses for the contact. Now, I allow my users to add addresses on the go by filling in the fields in the portal. However, it's a little hard for the user to know that there are actually fields that are editable there. This is where we're going to use the placeholder to show them. To get to the placeholder, we're going to enter layout mode, click on one of the fields, and go to the data tab of the inspector. Here you'll see a new interface called placeholder text. In here we can add a placeholder to appear when the field is empty. For the street field, I'm just going to add the literal text street. I'll enter browse mode to see the change. Now you can see that street appears because the field is empty. When I enter text in there, the placeholder will disappear. So I'll add 1, 2, 3, street, street. You can see that the placeholder text is gone. And if I scroll down, you can see that street appears in the next portal record that will be created. But placeholders are not just used for literal text. They can also be calculations. So what I'm going to do for the state field is I'm going to add a calculation that changes it to something else based on the zip code. So I'll go into the calculation dialog using the pencil icon and add a calculation here. So what I want to happen is I'm going to check if the zip code has a zip code of 19333. That indicates that it's in Pennsylvania. When that happens, I'm going to show PA rather than state. Let me show you the calculation. So here we see if zip equals 19333, show PA. If it doesn't, show state. So here we go. Let's enter browse mode to see our change. So right now it shows state. But let's add that 1933 in there. Now let's switch over to PA to let my user know that that zip code corresponds to PA and I should add PA to make sure the state is correct. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to Salient TV to view more videos from the Unboxing FileMaker 14 series.